Hello everybody, it's Ollie from One On Geek and today I'm doing a video that's going to basically show you how to get loads of followers on Tumblr. I already did a video like this but this is an updated method and it works so much better. This method has helped me get 70,000 followers in the last three months, has just really taken blog networking to the next level on Tumblr. Just before you start the video, I am feeling really ill so I might seem a little bit down and up. I've basically got the flu and I've just kind of walked it off. I'm just like, ah, just forget it, I don't have the flu but I do. And if I've spoke too quick in this video, then look in the description because because there is an article which has all this in text and it's really easy to follow. So the first thing you're going to need to do is you're going to need to create accounts. Now I get my accounts created for me using Fiverr and SEO Clerk, depending because sometimes Fiverr removes people who sell accounts. So head over to Fiverr or SEO Clerk and you can just buy probably 20 accounts for like five bucks. And that's just if you don't want to make them. Um, I personally don't have time to make them so it works out better for me to just get them ready made and ready to go. Next you need to set up the accounts. Now this means creating a nice catchy description, something that's not too long, that has a bit of relevance to your niche or if it's like a person blog then something that's a bit funny catching and makes people want to talk to you and follow you anything that works and works for your blog so after you've done the description you want to head over and do your queue now I usually do anything from 20 to 50 posts per day on each blog now this keeps me on ahead of all the queues is my followers happy and keeps me getting a lot of followers like you find the more images you post per day the more followers you get you don't want to go for 50 on the dot on every blog because it does look fishy and if you're setting up 20 30 blogs then tumblr will notice that they're all on 50 they're all automated and you'll probably get them banned. So you want to be random with the numbers. Sometimes choose 30, sometimes choose 38, sometimes choose 40, but just anywhere between 20 and 50 should be great. So after you've thought of a catchy description and you've sorted out your queue, it's now time to pick a nice picture that represents your blog. Now, if it's a personal blog, then it can be a picture of yourself or it can be a picture of a model that you found online, which is a bit naughty, but people do it all the time. Or you can even buy stock photos and use them as profile pictures. That stops you getting in trouble and it's a bit humane it's a bit like nicer because I personally only use myself or pictures that I've brought just because I, I don't like stealing people's content but other people will go ahead and just use Cara Delevingne and just use people other models and different things like that so yeah pick a nice picture you want to get a cover picture and a profile picture people always forget the cover picture I did for about three years forget all my cover pictures but they're a huge importance because when people search on the tags and you show up it looks better if you've got a cover photo and your little profile good to have a nice picture and not just have one of them squeaky little backgrounds so the last thing you need to do on the setup process is pick a theme. Now I recommend having a theme that displays pictures freely and makes them easy to see and visible. Now here's the interesting part of the video. This is where I teach you how I got 70,000 followers in three months. It's all by using this simple bot called Tumbling Jazz. This bot allows you to have as many counts as you want, run in as many things as you want. Just some of the key features are the fact it can follow and unfollow people who don't follow you back in a certain amount of time. It can scrape images, videos and articles off the internet or off other Tumblr blogs. It can reblog and upload content, so you can give it a file and say upload these images, or you can get it so it reblogs off certain keywords. So you can say, hey, reblog Ferrari pictures, and it will just reblog Ferrari pictures. You can get it to like people's posts. So this is brilliant if you've got like say 100 blogs, you can get them all every day to like a certain number of posts. It can be random, maybe 50, maybe 100, and it will just go through and like them one by one without you doing anything. You just have to set up the initial task, and then you can just turn the bot on in the morning, and it'll handle it. it can can also send messages and anonymous messages so you can get it sending loads of messages to everybody who follows you um, or people who don't follow you saying hey follow me or hey check out this new video or hey check out this product or whatever you want you can just send that which I don't personally do because I don't have time to really set it up and also it's a bit spammy but if you feel confident and you have something to really really tell everybody maybe you want to help someone out it can be a great method of getting the word out there. I've left a link in the description to the bot and now I'm going to tell you how to use it so if you want to know a little bit more about it and I'm speaking maybe a bit too quick and you want to actually see it for yourself, just go to the link in the description, click it and it will take you through and you can go and see all the information for yourself. So, setting up the bot. When I first opened this bot, I was a bit taken back, I was a bit nervous because it does look a little bit scary and it doesn't really have a lot of instruction, but after using it for about five minutes, I literally managed to set up about 30 accounts to queue a certain amount of images every single day. And I'm, I'm quite computer literate, but even my dad, who's not really computer literate, managed to set it up on his own just 
just using my kind of guidance over Skype, so it's not that hard. So right now I'm going to teach you how to upload 300 images to an account in just a few clicks of a button. But I will do a video or a tutorial video where I actually teach you how to do all the little features one by one and it'll probably take me about five minutes, so keep an eye on for that. And if I don't do it, then just tell me in the comments and I'll hurry up and I'll do it quicker. So first you go to add account, which is just down the bottom, you click that and you type in your password. Be careful, it will show your password. You type in your blog name and you type in your email. Now you can also have a dedicated proxy, so if you're setting up say 100 blogs you may have got a private proxy and you just put that in the little description box and it will just sort out for you. You've also got on the side um, little tasks which it can do every day and it won't go over these tasks. I don't fill them in, but you can. Now you just click save and you move on to the next step. Adding the images there set. All you do is go to add file and you find the file where your 300 images are stored. Then you go down and you assign meta. So you put tags like follow for follow, follow me, follow back. Tags are basically where your image will show when people type into the search on Tumblr. After that, you can fill in your custom description, which will go on every single image. And you can also spin this, which is quite simple, but just for you newbies, I'd recommend not spinning it and just having one single description for every single image. So now you pick your source and your click through link. That can be your blog, your website, or an affiliate link, or the person who created the content. Whatever you want it to be, you can just put them two little links there and that'll post. So if anybody clicks the image or anybody clicks the source of the image, it will just head straight to that URL. So then just go and click save and then go and pick your account which you added previously or pick from some accounts which you've already added and then just click add images. Now you just have to click post images and it will join the queue and then you can go and repeat this in different pictures again and again and again and again and you can get as many tasks running at any one point. Now I've set up a little system so all I have to do is go and turn on my computer in the morning and click run and it will just run through all of the little systems that I've set up. The systems that I'm following and following, I follow 200 people every morning on every account and I also upload 300 images. Now, obviously I don't upload 300 images on every single account every single morning because you don't need that many, but I um, occasionally once a week will run the images and then every single day I'll have tasks like likes and um, occasional reblogs and I'll also do unfollows and follows. So you can set this up, it usually takes probably an hour to two hours to set it up with like a hundred different blogs. And once you do that, you literally just have to turn it on, click go, and just keep an eye on when your blogs need updating. So all you really need to do is go and watch my other video on how to um, get loads of number followers, and then just you do exactly the same stuff, but with this bot instead because this bot is seriously absolutely amazing and if you use it correctly you can earn tons of cash. I'm using it to promote my own stuff, to promote my own products, to promote different things that I'm involved in, but you can use it to promote affiliate links, you can use it to promote Amazon products, your own ebook, your websites, or just use it to show, show your social media skills and get a job. Like I've seen people who, who, who watch my tutorials who now get jobs managing social media accounts because they got so many followers on Tumblr. Now this method is still in date and it's still works absolutely um, flawlessly and you sometimes do have to adapt for money making like my likes has gone downhill a little bit because their payouts aren't really amazing I can still earn a couple of hundred dollars a week if I use it properly but I'm better off using things like Clickbank to actually just sell products one off because you can earn $80 from selling one thing so if you've got 20 tattoo blogs all running and they're all promoting a tattoo site with awesome tattoos they're gonna sell at a much quicker rate than if you have a my likes link the main recommendation would be would just be to start it today, don't give up. I always answer comments, so if you've got any questions, please feel free to ask because I always answer them. And I will be uploading one video per week every week on money making, marketing, and social media advice. So please subscribe, and I hope you have a lovely day. And see you later, and I hope you've enjoyed. Bye.